Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss normal distribution and its applications in transportation engineering. Normal distribution is the most used statistical distribution in all areas of civil engineering to model a continuous random variable. It has a number of useful applications in traffic engineering. A random variable is a variable whose value is unknown. Or you can say it is a function that assigns values to each of an experiment's outcome. This random variable can be either discrete or it can be continuous. A discrete variable will have possible values finite that is countable. For example, traffic accidents, number of arrivals, number of parking loads, etc. So whenever you can express the values in whole number, Traffic accidents cannot be 2.3. Number of arrivals of vehicles cannot be 4.6. So when you express these values in whole number, then it becomes discrete variable. But when a variable can take infinite or you can say non-countable values, then it becomes continuous variable. For example, vehicle speed. Now if you measure the speed of vehicle accurately, it will never be 80 km per hour. It will be either 79.8 or 80.2 or 80.3 like that. Waiting time at signals, headway between vehicles, they are all continuous variables. Normal distribution was discovered by Gaussian and therefore it is also called Gaussian distribution. This generally has a bell-shaped curve. This, this is the histogram of continuous data which follows a normal distribution. For example, vehicular speed distribution. Now, the important properties of a normal distribution is that it has a mu, that is mean value, and a standard deviation, that is sigma. Two parameters. And this is the equation of probability distribution function of a normal distribution. That fx is equal to 1 upon sigma square root of 2 pi e to the power x minus mu whole square upon minus 2 sigma square. Now mu here is called the location parameter which explains the center of distribution and sigma is called a scale parameter which controls the spread of distribution. For example here I have shown two distributions which have same spread means they have same sigma values, but they have different mean values, mu1 and mu2. Similarly, these two distributions, they have same mean value, but different sigma1 and sigma2. So, mu1 and mu2, basically, they are the location parameter which are on the x-axis. A normal distribution is generally represented as capital N, mu, sigma. Mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation. Now, in this equation, in this equation, if mu becomes 0 and sigma becomes 1, then this distribution is called a standard distribution. And this is the equation for normal distribution. You can say standard normal distribution where z is equal to x minus mu upon sigma. x is the value, mu is the mean, a standard deviation is sigma. So, if you have, let us say, a normal distribution with mean 38 and a standard deviation 8, and any value of speed, let us say, 50 km per hour, then this 50 km per hour can be converted into a standard score like 50 minus mu upon sigma, that is 1.5. So 1.5 becomes the standard score. Standard score, in case of z scale, a normal distribution will be represented by 0, 1, because mu, mu is 0 and sigma is 1. So 50 km per hour speed becomes 1.5 on this distribution. Now, this is how a normal distribution represents the data. Area under the curve, the total area under this curve is 1, that is 
and if you take mu that is the mean of the distribution plus minus one standard deviation on either side then it represents 68.27 percent of the data similarly if you take mu plus minus two sigma then it represents 95.4 percent of the data and mu plus mu plus minus three sigma will represent almost 99.7 percent of the data now since three standard deviation on either side of the mean include practically all the cases it follows that the highest z score usually encounter is plus three and the lowest is minus three now standard tables are available to find the area under the curve for a given value of z now this table this side of the table is when z is negative so it is basically on the left side of the mean z value lies in the left side of the mean so for example if z is minus 1.56 then you take this row and this column corresponding to 0.06 you get a value of 0.0594 if z is on the right side that is plus 1.56 then you get a value 1.5 and corresponding to this column of 0 0.06 you get a value of 0 0.9406 remember the total area under the curve is 1 so this part, shaded part here, will be 0.94. Whether a data fits a normal distribution or not, that can be determined from goodness of fit test. And there are three tests which can be conducted. One is chi-square test, another is KS test, and third is AD test. Out of these, chi-square is most commonly used, but KS is also quite popular. But AD test is not that popular. Now, this chi-square value is given by this equation. Once you fit a distribution, you calculate OI minus EI. OI is the observed frequency minus estimated frequency or expected frequency divided by expected frequency. And KS value is basically the maximum difference between the expected and observed frequency. It is calculated like this. And AD value is slightly complex to calculate. X values are arranged in increasing order and then A value is calculated by this equation. It is basically log of fxi plus log of 1 minus fx x n minus i plus 1. The test is that calculated value should be less than critical value. If it, this condition is satisfied, then the data fits the normal distribution. Otherwise, not. Say, for example, if you have a speed data of 300 vehicles and you divide this speed data into a frequency table. Now, this frequency table can also be made using Excel sheet. And then you fit a normal distribution to this data and you calculate what is the expected frequency the other expected frequency so you have e value that is expected frequency you have observed frequency o value you calculate chi square value e square of expected minus observed divided by expected and you take sum of all these values and if this sum is less than the critical value for the given degree of freedom now here i should point out that Whenever this expected frequency is less than 5, we merge the, the values here. So, this is expected frequency here is 8 and in the last bracket it is 2.49 and therefore these are merged together 10.49 and these also merged together and that is how chi-square is calculated. The, if you take simple difference, if you take simple difference between expected and observed frequency, then the maximum difference here, 16.18, is the KS value. This KS value or sum of all these chi square values should be less than the tabulated value or critical value for a given degree of freedom and level of confidence. 
Normal distribution is widely used in all fields of engineering, medicine, physical science and economics. Random variables which follow the normal distribution are ones whose values can assume any known value in a given range. For example, a vehicle speed distribution, payment roughness distribution on a road, or distribution of hourly traffic on a highway, distribution of layer thickness of a payment taken at regular interval, or you can say density of the layer taken at regular interval that will also follow normal distribution. Similarly, cube strength value in the design of concrete pavement or in the design of any structure, if you take number of cubes and try to see the variation in the cube strength that will follow the normal distribution. It is extensively used in simulation studies in traffic and transportation engineering. Let us take one example where you have sport speed data of 11,844 vehicle and their mean is 38.5, standard deviation is 13.75 and this data is represented by normal distribution. The question is what is the probability of speed being more than 60 km per hour. So you calculate z value where x is 38 point, where x is 60 km per hour, mu is 38.5 and sigma 13.75, so you get 1.56. Now corresponding to this 1.56, you find out what is the area under the curve. So you go to the table where you get 1.5 and in the sixth column, you get 0 0.9406. For this 0 0.9406, the probability of speed less than 60 km per hour is 0 0.9406. And therefore, the probability that the speed will be more than 60 km per hour will be 1 minus 0 0.9406, that is 6%. The second part of the question is, what is the probability that a speed lies between 30 and 80 km per hour? So here you calculate Z1 and Z2. Z1 is 30 minus 38.5 upon sigma and Z2 is 80 minus 38.5 upon 13.75 that is 3. Again we go to the table, standard tables for Z1 point minus 0.61 that is 0.6 and the first column that is 0 0.2709 and corresponding to 3.01 you have this value 0.9987. So these are the two values. So for these two values, you get the area between these two values that is 0 0.99 minus 0 0.27 that is 72. So the probability that speed will lie between 30 and 80 km per hour will be 72%. The third part of this question can be that what is the 85th percentile speed? of the vehicles on the road. Now here, Z value you have to find from this table so that the area under the curve is 0 0.85. So corresponding to 0 0.85, you find out what is the value of Z. Value of Z will be 1.04. And for this value of Z, you put that in this equation that 1.04 is equal to x minus 38.5 upon 13.75. So you get x is equal to 52.8 km per hour. That is the 85th percentile speed on the highway. Say we take one more example where riding quality of the pavement is measured. And these are the data that it, for 85 km of the national highway, you measure the riding quality and you got IRI value with a mean value of 3.25 meter per kilometer and standard deviation 1 meter per kilometer. The question, what is the probability of IRI less than 4 meter per kilometer? So again, you find out value of X here, value of Z here. So again, you find out what the value of Z here, X 4 mu 3.25, sigma 1, you get 0.75. And corresponding to this 0.75, you again enter the table, you get the area under the curve 0.7734 and therefore the probability of IRI being less than 4 meter per kilometer will be 77.34. The second question is what is the 15th percentile IRI value? Now 15th percentile means basically that 
corresponding to shaded area of 0 0.15, what is the value of Z? We again go to table and find out what is Z value that is minus 1.03 and you calculate what is the value of X that is 2.22, 2.2 meter per kilometer. That is the 15th percentile IRI value. So that is how normal distribution is used in different fields of traffic and highway engineering. Thank you very much for watching this video. You can write your observations, comments in the comment box.